Welcome to this video looking at the different types of nuclear radiation. So these are the things that you need to know by the end of the video. Uh, describe a simple model of the atom, including the parts of the atom, the protons, neutrons and electrons. To know the terms nuclear radiation, ionizing radiation and radioactivity, and to explain what an alpha particle, a beta particle and gamma radiation is. To understand radioactivity, we need to know more about atomic structure. The pictures on the left there are pictures uh, representing the structure of atoms. We'll talk through the details in a moment. What do they look like? Well, they're very, very small. We can't see them. They have a nucleus and they have electrons that orbit the nucleus. Atoms are the smallest possible particles of the elements which make up everything all the way around us. So inside the nucleus itself are further particles. They should actually be drawn closer together than this. And these are the protons and the neutrons. And around them, moving around, following these dotted lines, are the electrons. They don't really move like that. They move in all different directions. Okay, so here's another model here. We've got our nucleus in the center, made up of green protons and the blue neutrons. And around those, we've got the electrons orbiting. We have the same number of electrons, six, as protons in an atom. The electrons have a negative charge, the protons have a positive charge. So if we have equal numbers, the overall charge on an atom is neutral. Here's a summary of that. So we have the protons that have a charge of plus one and they have an atomic mass unit mass of one. The neutron has no charge and a mass of one. The electron has a negative one charge and a very small mass compared to both the proton and the neutron. You should know the charges on the three but you don't need to know the exact mass of an electron. There are three different types of nuclear radiation. Alpha radiation, and that's the alpha symbol in the brackets there, the Greek letter. Beta radiation, and that's the Greek letter for beta. And gamma radiation, and that's the letter for gamma, which looks a bit like a, ups, a Y that's uh, curly. So here's a nucleus emitting an alpha particle at the top. And you can see relative to the size of the nucleus, the alpha particle is actually quite large. And it consists of two protons and two neutrons, two blue and two green. The middle atom is going to emit a beta particle. This is an electron. And this is much, much, much smaller than the alpha particle. Notice this isn't one of the electrons from the orbit. This is an electron from the nucleus. And the last one is emitting a gamma ray, which is a burst of electromagnetic radiation. That's what the squiggle represents. It's not really a squiggle. It's showing that it's a wave that's been produced from the atom. Okay, all of these are ionizing radiation. The alpha particle at the top, which is large, the beta particle, very small and a fast moving electron, and gamma ray, a high frequency, high energy electromagnetic wave.
Alpha, beta, and gamma are all called nuclear radiations because they come from the nucleus of an atom. Alpha, beta, and gamma can be called ionizing radiations because they carry out ionization, more of which we'll explain later. They're also described as radioactivity, as they're emitted by the process of radioactive decay. So the three words, nuclear radiations, ionizing radiation, and radioactivity mean very similar things. Here's our atom again, and we're going to show it being ionized. So it's got six electrons, and if it's changed into an ion, then it either gains or loses an electron. In this case, it's lost an electron, so there are now just five electrons orbiting the nucleus. So it's going to be a positive ion because it's lost a negative charge. If we go back to our atom with six electrons orbiting the nucleus, and if it gains an electron, it's now got seven electrons, and so it would be a negative ion. This is ionization, the addition or removal of an electron from an atom by our ionizing radiation. producing a charged particle. There'll be a later video all about ionization. So let's talk more about alpha radiation. What is it? It's a helium nucleus, two protons, two neutrons. It's positively charged because protons have a positive charge. So it has a charge of plus two because it's got two protons. The neutrons have no charge. It has a mass of four because the protons and the neutrons have a mass of one each. So it's positively charged and it's the largest of the three types of ionizing radiation. Let's have a look at beta. So beta is a fast moving electron and it's released from the nucleus. So it's not one of these orbiting electrons, it's coming from the nucleus. The protons and the new, all the neutrons change into the electron. We don't worry about that process till higher physics. It has a negative charge. It's very, very small compared to the alpha particle. Gamma radiation. This is a high frequency electromagnetic wave. It travels at the speed of light, 300 million meters per second or three times 10 to the eight meters per second. And it has no mass and no charge. Alpha, beta and gamma radiation are called ionizing radiations because they cause ionization. Ionization of the cells in our body can kill them or can change them and cause cancers. So that is what makes ionizing radiation dangerous. Alpha are heavy and move relatively slowly, so they cause a lot of ionization. Beta, fast moving electrons, are lighter and cause less. Gamma cause little ionization. In this video, you're going to see a demonstration using a Geiger Muller tube and counter and it clicks when the ionization, ionizing radiation is detected. And you'll see three different sources, one for alpha, one for beta, and one for gamma, and how different materials absorb the radiation and stop it.
Okay, so here's the summary. Here's our alpha radiation. It gets stopped by paper. This is obviously not to scale because we can't A, see the radiation and B, it's really, really small as well. Beta radiation, our fast moving electron, gets stopped by a few millimeters of aluminium. Gamma radiation, our high frequency electromagnetic wave, gets absorbed by several centimeters of lead. It has different energies, which is why some of the radiation seem to go through to the other side. Often this is shown in a picture like this one. Okay, so here's our summary. What stops alpha? Paper. What stops beta? A few millimeters of aluminium. What stops gamma radiation? Several centimeters of lead. If we're thinking about air, what stops alpha radiation? Just a few centimeters of air. What absorbs beta radiation? A few tens of centimeters of air. And we saw from the video there that gamma radiation is not absorbed by air at all. And finally, thinking about ionization, what does the most alpha, what does the least gamma, and beta are somewhere in the middle. So you need to describe the model of the atom, which includes the nucleus containing the protons and the neutrons and the electrons orbiting it, no nuclear radiation, ionizing radiation and radioactivity, and say what alpha particles are, what beta particles, and what gamma radiation is.